National Educator. Hello learners, I am teacher Thaddeus Baluka and today I'm teaching you chemistry form 4. Our topic of today is electrochemistry under the subtopic electrochemical cell. Welcome. Let's start by looking at the lesson objective. By the end of the lesson today, you should be able to describe the electrochemical cell right cell representation of an electrochemical cell. Let's look at what is an electrochemical cell. And an electrochemical cell is formed by combining two half cells whereby the electrodes of the two half cells are connected by metallic wires. Where the two electrolytes, or rather the solutions within the half cells, are connected using a salt bridge. This arrangement constitutes to what we call an electrochemical cell. So whatever I'm saying, in simple terms, is that you have a half cell. This half cell, you have one half cell here. and another half cell. This half cell is usually made of the metal rod. We can say the metal rod of metal A dipped in aqueous solution. Aqueous solution of the A. Then here we have the metal rod which is the electrolyte of we can get for example metal B dipped into the solution of B ions aqueous so and remember an electrolyte an electrolyte must an electrode must be dipped into the electrolyte it should never be hanging uh, now we have the half cell one this is half cell. And we have another half cell. So we are saying an electrochemical cell is meant by two half cells whereby the metal rods are joined, are connected to each other using a salt bridge. And now we have the solutions of the two half of the two metal ions in the half cells, and these ones are also linked using a salt bridge. That is what you call an electrochemical cell. This is what we call electrochemical chemical cell. This is what you call an electrochemical cell. So we are saying we have the electrodes. We have two half cells. That is one of the components. The two, the electrodes in the half cell are connected using metallic wire. This is a wire. And then the solutions of the two half cells are joined using a salt bridge. This is now what you call an electrochemical cell. Let's look at an example of an electrochemical cell. And we are going to look at, an, for instance, the zinc copper electrochemical cell. We have said that we have two cells here. So in a zinc copper electrochemical cell, we're just going to show this. Uh, in zinc copper electrochemical cell, we can substitute, whereby on this side, we are going to put zinc solid and it will be dipped in solution of zinc ions. Aqueous. So whatever I'm saying, we said if you have 
El metro A, it must be dipped in solution containing ions of A. So here we, if we have zinc metal, it must be dipped into solution of zinc ions.